Hey everybody, I made gumbo. No, you didn't. No, I didn't, but uh, it's the weekend, so booyah. First weekend Matt and Ben live here. They're not here right now. Um, we promise they actually moved in. They actually moved in. <laughs> they're, they're, they're staying tonight. They're, yeah. they're officially moving in. This is their piece of furniture that Peter needs to build. I'm building it? Yeah. Is that what they said? Yeah. Okay, will you grab the puppy? Yes. She's so angry. She's angry because we're not in Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. Yes. <laughs> we're not going to the Not So Scary tonight. Um, it's just too hot. Like, we went to the first one last year and it just didn't seem Halloween like because it was too hot. We enjoyed it, but it was like we had just moved here. Cultural shock living here. Plus, this earth. He was just not, not nice. Be up here, yeah. So, we're going to Holly Studios tonight. Fantastic Friday. Woo woo. Air Hearts. Woo woo. Ben and Matt later, whoop whoop. But first, before Sarah gets makeup on, because she thinks she needs no makeup on, but she doesn't. We need, Sarah needs her daily dose, look at my toes. Daily dose of Gary V, because I listen to him all day long at work, and it's a new three minute video about why you should just trust people blindly, and let the, give them trust to begin with, and let them lose it, rather than force people to earn your trust. I wanted that song in the background. Uh. <laughs> I just posted on our Instagram how I cut out a lot of stuff. Oh, <laughs> we have temper tantrums, we have laughing giggle fests, we have misuse of the English language because we don't know how to speak. We have too loud music. Too loud music, I drool sometimes. I'm just trying to make us We're just humans. <laughs> That's all. We have dog drool that we won't we refuse to clean because <laughs> yeah. we know it's just gonna happen again. But I love to look at it because it reminds me of beef. We're in. Hello. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Peter says we need to document this, but I don't know what he means. I literally was so full from our dinner. And I don't know, I can't pinpoint what it is that we're smelling. It smells but super good. It smells super good and grilled and seasoned. I'm already hungry again. <laughs> Let's get a fuel rod. So I haven't seen much of this yet. We haven't shown much on the vlog. Cute little bowls. This is a new countdown. That's a cute mat. Someone abandoned their stitch but desires. But for it to be like displayed with this. And these, is this a, oh. Hot, oh that's hot chocolate. These are sour jelly pumpkins. <laughs> it's our first time! They've been on it, they're pros. They're for, our, no, this is first time for their Fast Pass queue. Yeah. Oh. oh. You're doing oh, Buzz Lightyear box. What? You're doing the vlog. I am doing the vlog. We're saying Okay, what alien? for the first time, right? <laughs> he still couldn't get on it. Ready? It's gonna really get going. Ready? Ah! <laughs> Friday drinks. Yeah, Friday drinks. This is a Mystic Portal Punch. This is a blue one. This is very good. Both very from good. both from what is Toy Box? No, not Toy Box. Lunch Box. I have to point out that I'm in, I'm in a positive impression in Kieran. He's walking around. He brought a backpack for the first time ever today, <laughs> just because I've been wearing my backpack. So he brought his backpack full of his two lightsabers and his study bag. <laughs> I'm, That's what I'm, you have in your backpack, right? Yeah, it is exactly what I have. I'm, I'm on. We're doing something we usually do not condone. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the top, look at the package, check it in. Okay, so I have a package. Karen's gonna help tell people where to park their stroller. She's gonna take her stroller up there with her. Yeah. <laughs> so. I found this small child walking by itself. 
So, I picked it up and decided to bring her along. Right. We get a lot of questions if we think that you should get a fast pass for Fantasmic or not. And we're going to tell you our true opinions tonight. I'm biased, so I'm going to say no, but I'm going to be open minded. Yeah, so today we have a fast pass. We're going to the fast pass section. Can you say hi? <laughs> um, so we're gonna see how it goes and if we like it and then we'll give you an accurate decision if we would suggest that you would do it or not. Okay, so this is all dining package, which is the very center. So you can only get the very center if you have the dining package. We're being told to go here and we, we got here early, so, but there's a lot of people here already. So here is our spot. This is the whole dining package. This is the fast pass section. So because we were here early enough, we got like very close to the front. So right now I think this is a win. The Earhart project. <laughs> she says she wants to be Peter and Sarah when she grows up. We went to Airheads. They haven't done this since like over five years. They're they were, honeymoon, like, yeah. They were like, what better way to do it than with the workouts on Friday at Fantastic. And I think the fast pass worked out. Like we're center. Yeah, I might be. You made, you made, I was a hater. You're a convert. <laughs> fast pass. Fantastic fast pass Friday. I do think that it had, it had a lot to do with the time that we got here. We also got here pretty early. We did. Oh, so it's like, like an hour. Right. So if you want a good fast pass spot, like that's how you get in the center. We're used to like being off the side. But if you get here early and you have a fast pass, then you're like center and close. Yeah. I think you can burn it on. Yeah. So I just got done telling Sarah like there's an energy tonight on Fantastic and look at this crowd. It is a wild. They are loud. They are rambunctious. And I'm about to make Sarah slightly angry, but Andrew, the coordinator right there, is like the very best Fantasmic cast member. We remember him jamming, hanging out during Fantasmic when he was a normal cast member. I gotta keep going back to my seat because people keep trying to take it. But now he's a coordinator. Back then he was hourly. This is a classic post phantasmic child life. I like how their father justified this. They said, you know, we get good drinks, we get good desserts and dinners that cost a good amount of money, so the kids get these relatively well priced treat toys. Someone <laughs> <laughs> we got him! Well, this is a jam. We are literally 
the one of the last like 20 guests leaving the bowl. That has never happened before. We've never literally shut down Fantasmic. We always like, me and Sarah always like up and run and get out of here. But tonight's unique because I've never seen this before. They have like the 10, there's a 10.30 showing and they have them lined up. They are ready to go over there. They're savages. do something that I don't think happens too often because usually he only has one other parent with him and uh well I should say adult right so we get to run away and Sarah and Carolyn have the kids we're running off the Tower of Terror I can. and I was just telling Ben we Sarah and I haven't been on this like in forever because we didn't go on it when the, when the family was here right so it's been easily three or four potentially five weeks yeah. super unheard of for us then, so. uh, March for me March. I should, kid, kid, listen, March. I should stop saying things then. <laughs> <laughs> that was a delicious ride, and I think me and Ben did the exact opposite of each other. Completely deadpan, and I and I freak out a little bit there. These kiddos are penny press pros. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a lightsaber battle. <laughs> All right, we left studios, and we're actually taking the walkway back to Crescent Lake. What are we doing? Are we just walking around right. Crescent Lake? This is gonna uh, yeah. accentuate uh, our sweaty we're faces. We're gonna see what's going on on the boardwalk. Yeah. yeah. We took the long walk <laughs> from Hollywood like Studios back to the boardwalk, the beach club. Pop tart. Did I call it the beach walk, by the way? The beach walk. <laughs> is that? Is right that, now? You did the other thing. Beach walk to the board club. The beach walk to the board club. The popping. Num. The popping tart. The popping tart? We're popping over here. <laughs> popping up. We don't like know like when to quit. We really don't know, ah. ever. Go. Still let us walk I had to mix it. What's it? Did you just let it overflow? No, they were both no. completely flipped over. Still, I totally forgot. <laughs> they were just pouring all it over. It was just like filling up, like uh. <laughs> it was all over. Ugh. Wait, that's pregnancy, Brian. It's been a long day, and I'm pregnant, and yeah. <laughs> And you did say you are a sucker for I the know. buffalo wings. <laughs> wow. We were convinced that this is from Alan Compass as well, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, I think so. This is great A coloring right there. Nothing like walking around the beach club at 1.30 in the morning. And when you forget that you didn't actually park at the beach club. We you have the realization. We have to park as soon as possible to so go on alien spinning saucers. But now we have to walk all the way back. We have to walk all the way back to the front of studios. Oh, look how foggy it's getting because it's 1.30 in the morning. It's humid out. And it, we've been in air conditioning. We should have just stayed. Reason 743 to not walk from Beach Club to studios at 1.30 in the morning. All the sprinklers turn on and they all move and literally spray you. Sarah so just got sprayed directly. Fun fact, when the parks are closed and everyone's done picking up, they just keep empty, locked up, turned off buses just 
at all the bus stops. And this is the scrim covering part of the load unload for the gondola. All right, just for a frame of reference, if you're staying at the beach club and you decide to walk, we've had no traffic because it's so late. It's taken us 24 minutes. The, this is the cast parking, it's practically empty. It's practically empty in every way. And our car <laughs> is all the way over there, if you can see it flashing right there. We're almost there. This is like our new sign off spot. Well, depending on what time we get home, this will be our new sign off spot because we don't want to be loud out by the kitchen because Matt and Ben are in bed. Mm -hmm. Because they got home at a reasonable time and not two in the morning. Yeah, hopefully we'll tell them that this isn't a usual thing. Well, <laughs> we're usually up late, but yeah. not out this late. Yeah. Good to be home. It's good to be home. It was so much fun hanging out at Pizza Club. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>